Now the first step is to update the BIOS. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have a Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo. Whichever brand you have, go to your system manufacturer website and then you can select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer. Again, then you can go to driver's page and you can uh, select the right operating system. Make sure that you select right operating system and then uh, find the latest BIOS so once you find the bios bios you can download it and then you can run the file and you can install it in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent when you update the system bios during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game still not working next step is to perform a clean installation of your of latest graphic card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. And then select custom option over here. By default express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game amd card users can go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to install geforce hotfix display driver version 576.66 this has also worked for many uh, players so it might work for you you can search in google and then you can go to nvidia website so it will take you to nvidia website on this website here you can see geforce hotfix display driver 576.66 here you can see this hotfix addresses the following dune awakening may crash during gameplay so you can install this driver scroll down here you can see click to download the GeForce. So you can download this file. And once the download is complete, you can run this exe file and make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box, go to graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed in this location so go to the game installation folder select the game folder uh, game exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here now click on the game over here and select high performance and you will see your graphic card but you have to click on add desktop app and you have to select the real exe file open this dune sandbox binaries win64 select this exe file this is important so click on add and then scroll down and find the game in the list. Once you find the game, now click on the game and then select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here. Now launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to do not skip the first cutscene. When you launch the game, when you see the first cutscene, do not skip it. This has also worked for many players, so it might work for you. Now, the next step is to run the game as an administrator. Now, for this, you can make a right click on the game, select manage. Now, click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Open this folder, binaries, win64. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties. Go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game and then check. Still not working, then go to properties once again. And then put a check over here, select Windows 8 over here, hit apply. Click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Then in that case, select Windows 7 over here. Hit apply. Click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Put a check on disable full screen optimization. Hit apply, click on OK and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, 
uh, still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and follow the next step now next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so make a right click go to properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can close this launch the game and then check still not working then in that case you can type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can empty this follow the next step now the next step is to try power saver mode now for this you can type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel now click on hardware and sound and then click on power options and then over here you might see power saver options so you will see option like this power saver so select power save over here and then you can launch the game and then check you can even go for balanced or high performance check which one is working fine for you but for many players power saver has worked so you can try this and then check still not working the next step is to install intel extreme tuning utility software if you already have it you can just launch it if you don't have it you can install it from intel website once you install it download it install it run the exe file and then uh, you can open this intel extreme tuning utility software and once you launch it then so you can go to performance score ratio and over here if this is set to like 56 57 58 you can try 55x maybe 54x maybe 53x try to lower down performance score ratio so try maybe 54 55 or 53x and then apply the settings and then you can check still not working uh, the next step is to increase the virtual memory So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 two four five seven six and maximum size is three into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into one zero two four i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is three into total ram so total ram is this much into three that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now still not working 
The next step is to verify the game files. So you can make a right click on the game select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check still not working. Next step is to do not overclock. If you have overclocked your computer, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner or any kind of overclocking application running, close it and then check disable Steam overlay. Now for this you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. If you have any other overlay application like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, you can go to Nvidia app settings and turn off Nvidia overlay. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check if the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.